In today's highly developed society, which is dominated by competition, industrialization, and capitalism, it is extremely difficult to look at the creative beauty that is hidden in all areas of our lives. Individuals express themselves in a variety of ways. It is up to us to look past our busy lifestyles to see these pieces of creativity and innovative flair. In this day and age, the world is no longer satisfied with anything less than creativity. The organization cannot succeed if they think in the same way than their competitors. Individuals cannot get a hand if they get same ideas than their workmates. As Albert Einstein's words, creativity is more important than knowledge. In the organization, it is harder and harder to see the solutions to problems by following the traditional ways. Novel solutions are needed when managing because the problems are different or new presented, which only got few solutions. Therefore, creativity has risen as a result of the adequacy of fashionable topics in both academic and business worlds. The contemporary business realized that increasing number of problems required creativity insight due to finding the optimal solutions or produce new ideas and perspectives. Creativity allows mistakes to become the foundation for future successes. It could help the organization finding out the diversity to ensure optimal solutions and separate the good from the great. As a result, some people who got specific characteristics stand out from others. They are not necessarily smarter, but in the leadership role, those characteristics made them successful. Nintendo is a Japanese multinational consumer electronics company in Japan. Nintendo developed into a video game company, becoming most influential in the industry. It became Japan's third most valuable list company, with a market value of over 85 billion US dollars. On the back of this brand, only few people know the company has faced the bankruptcy before the Pokemon was introduced. Satoshi Tareji was the standout contributor and he was the designer of the well-known game called Pokemon. It is easy to find out his characteristics. Satoshi Tareji confront assumptions. He was also highly imaginative. Tareji first conceived the ideas of Pokemon in 1990, and this idea created many miracles in both game and TV industries. He is tending to think visually, highly imaginative, see the possibility within the seemingly impossible and see the relationship between seemingly disconnected elements. After he saw a Game Boy, the idea came together. 
and he decided it make the most sense on the handled console. He introduced the idea of connectivity between handled game consoles by suggesting that Game Boy could use these link cables in order to have friends do more than simply playing against each other. Toriji was future oriented. He was not afraid of taking risks and he was prepared to make mistakes. Not afraid to challenge the status quo, and he was looked beyond the first right idea in search of the perfect idea. His behavior not only made himself succeed, but also saved Nintendo. On November 19, 2003, Mark Zuckerberg wrote the following. I understood that some parts were still a little sketchy and I wanted some more time to think about whether or not this was really appropriate to release to the Harvard community. This was an apology for building Face Mash. The site used photos of Harvard girls and allowed students to rank them. This creative venture of Zuckerberg's brought widespread student criticism from the student body and had him brought into the administration office for censure. However, this was also the predecessor to Facebook, a site that now has 901 million monthly active users and at the end of March 2012 is now available in more than 70 languages. However, author of the Facebook effect David Kirkpatrick states that time and time again Zuckerberg has been in a position where everyone around him was saying that he would fail and that he was overreaching. What characteristics did Zuckerberg have to help him move past these blocks to his creativity and enable him to take such large risks? Sternberg and Lobatsky's investment theory of creativity states that the appropriate attributes for creativity are knowledge, an encouraging environment, an appropriate personality, intelligence, motivation, and an appropriate thinking style. Zuckerberg certainly lacked an encouraging environment so was it his personality, intelligence and motivation and thinking style that allowed him to overcome the blocks to his creativity? Zuckerberg's intelligence and motivation can be attested to by the fact that his private computer tutor David Newman told reporters that it was hard to stay ahead of the prodigy who began taking graduate courses at nearby Mercy College at around the same time. In terms of personality, Zuckerberg has been described as distant, disorientating and shy. This would initially appear to hinder his creative ability and his business potential. However, IT expert and lecturer Donald Luthania states that the shy personality types can have the following benefits. Cautious thinking, meekness, and they can be more approachable. Being quiet can lead to a calming effect on others. Appearing vulnerable can be great in certain jobs. Shy people can appear as innocent or good and shy people tend to be more believable. Furthermore, David Kirkpatrick states that Zuckerberg operates by the conviction that it is better to be decisive than right. He doesn't let failure get him down, that he could make his dreams become reality. Kirkpatrick says that it's impossible to underestimate the degree to which that is central to his success. He always knew he'd make it a massive impact on society. These cognitive personality traits of self-belief, decisiveness, and to a degree shyness are central to him moving past issues like face match. This and his intellect allow him to disregard failures that would otherwise have stopped Facebook from having been created. The final individual that this documentary will be examining is Banksy, an England-based graffiti artist. He is well known all over the world as a graffiti artist, a political activist, a film director and a painter. His personal character is mysterious, his birth name is still not known and where he was born exactly is still unknown. He's well known for his contempt for the government in labelling graffiti as vandalism. He displays his art on public surfaces such as walls, roofs and billboards. He just recently had a very successful documentary based on him, titled Exit Through the Gift Shop. While his personal life is a mystery, his professional life is far from it. He has had exhibitions in Europe and the United States of America. In early 2012, Banksy finished his first book titled You Are an Acceptable Level of Threat. 
The book will be published by Carpet Bombing Culture and has an official release date of 2nd of July 2012. Banksy is known for not caring about what society thinks of his work. When questioned about what he would say to people who claim that his artwork is dumb and simplistic, Banksy is famously stated as saying, They are right of course, most of this stuff is designed to be viewed from a moving vehicle. I believe Banksy is a perfect example of a creative person. He uses lateral thinking in every piece of art that he creates. Banksy is quoted as saying, Think outside the box, collapse the box, and take a fucking sharp knife to it. His personality does not conform to the normal traits of the everyday celebrity in Hollywood. He speaks his mind and doesn't care what society thinks of him. His statements are often brash and uncensored. On graffiti, he stated that, Graffiti is one of the few tools you have if you have almost nothing. And even if you don't come up with a picture to cure world poverty, you can make someone smile while they're having a piss. Banksy is a perfect example of a creative individual. He has many of the characteristics of a creative individual and his artwork is constantly innovating what is street art. He sends messages through his images that speak of the problems with society and he emphasizes on capitalism, war, famine, pollution, and of course, politics. Banksy is not afraid of taking risks and he's always prepared to make mistakes in his artwork. He constantly challenges the status quo through his art and exhibits curiosity through new mediums and different places to place his artwork. He exhibits curiosity through the different places that he places his artwork. And it is obvious that he thinks visually as all of his messages are conveyed through images. He is adaptable to changing circumstances and can obviously work in different working environments as his artwork is now found all over the globe. While Banksy, as a person, is still unknown, he is a leader. He's a leader of free art in the world, a leader of graffiti, and is inspiring many young graffiti artists to take up the helm and begin spray painting. This documentary looked at the characteristics of creative people. It is imperative for humankind to continue to be innovative and creative if our race is to continue to prosper into the future. Creativity is everywhere in our world, and after all, the world is but a canvas to the imagination.